it's very telling from the position and the way that you see these three riding here in this group. 42 kilometers per hour in the breakaway, and the riders trying to take as much shelter as possible. Another handful of seconds to the lead and the advantage of the breakaway trio. One minute and four seconds, 64 kilometers to go. Over the top of the first king in the mountains of the day, the Alto del Baltol, it's Sepulveda who takes the three points. Gonzalez with the two. Okamika settles for the one point. The peloton now, you can tell just on the body language of all the riders, the grimaces on the face, the pace has increased as they get near the top. Coming towards the top of the second and final king of the mountain of the day, Sepulveda takes maximum points, another three points into the pocket of the Argentinian. The race really is getting on now, though. Positioning is key in the running. And you can see now that peloton have got the breakaway in sight. As the shoulders start to rock and roll, Okamika looks like he's just got the edge over his Spanish compatriot. As we see, AG Tuar Citroën start to lead things out. There's Vendrami in the green jersey. And Okamika goes through that intermediate sprint. He takes the maximum points. He takes the 20. Well, that's it. Day done for our breakaway. Gonzalez and Okamika are caught. It's Team DSM, Firminic, who lead things at the head of the peloton. 4.2, and there's been a crash. There's been a big crash in outside 4.2 kilometers to go, and several riders are down. Several riders are caught up, and is that Brian Cocker? Brian yeah. Cocker is down for Cofidis at the moment. Here comes Lotto Destiny in the red jerseys. They've got Milan Menton. It's job done for Dylan Van Baler as now it's uh, Tobias Bayer who takes over for Alpes in de Koenig at the moment. There's Group Armour FDG and they're looking after the interests of Lewis Askey. Lewis Askey, the man from Cannock in the Midlands in Great Britain, he's in his Grand Tour debut and he's looking for his Grand Tour stage victory, his debut stage victory in a Grand Tour. 1.6 kilometers to go as they take the next roundabout and here comes Lidl Trek. They take that sweeping right-hand corner and the road starts to rise and they're inside 1,000 meters to go. Now Alpes in de Koenig, they start to open things up and there is Milano. He's sitting in fourth wheel at the moment and he's got Rui Oliveira leading him out at the moment. A little bit of bumping and barging there from EF Education Easy Post with Marijn Vandenberg sitting in second wheel. He wants this lead out from Rui Oliveira at the moment. He really made sure he was in the right place. But it's Ivan Cortina. We can spot him. He's coming. Rui Oliveira into this left hander now. 400 meters to go. 400 meters to go. And here's Marijn Vandenberg. And he comes down. The Marijn Vandenberg of EF Education comes down. And here goes the launch of Sebastian Milano. Milano looking for his second Grand Tour victory. And the chains off. Even Garcia Gartina, he's got caught up, but here comes Milano. The Colombian is looking for the stage victory, but can Groves catch him on the line? Here he comes inside the final 100 meters. Groves, what's he got left? Is he going to take the stage? Groves, Groves on the line, and Groves takes his second victory in La Vuelta, España, his third Grand Tour stage victory. Time to perfection, he catches Milano. Wow.